in the barren desert of Nevada, a low rumble echoes across the sand. It's not a diesel engine, not the familiar growl of eighteen cylinders grinding up a mountain pass. It's something new, something silent, and it's about to rewrite the history of transport. After years of rumors, missed deadlines, and secret prototypes spotted on lonely highways, the Tesla Semi is finally real. But what's happening right now inside the Gigafactory is even bigger than anyone expected. Tesla isn't just building a truck, it's building the spine of a new logistics era. The story begins with Elon Musk standing on stage in 2017, promising a vehicle that would crush diesel in every measurable way, cheaper to run, faster, safer, and cleaner. Skeptics laughed. Truckers shrugged. Analysts called it impossible. Yet in 2025, the same truck that was dismissed as a fantasy is now hauling full-load trailers for companies like PepsiCo, Walmart, and Costco, proving that electric freight can actually outperform the diesel kings of the highway. A new species of truck. Step close to the semi, and you'll feel it immediately. This isn't a redesign, it's a re-species. Every curve, every vent, every surface has been sculpted for one purpose, efficiency. The cabin stands tall and central, the driver seated in the middle like a pilot in a jet cockpit. There's no engine hump, no exhaust stack, no roar, just a panoramic windshield wrapping across the front like a visor from the future. Inside, two 15-inch touchscreens replace the forest of dials and levers you'd find in a diesel rig. Everything, maps, trailer stats, tire pressures, cameras, streams seamlessly through Tesla OS. And when you power it up, the truck doesn't rumble to life. It awakens. A quiet pulse of light runs through the dashboard as if the machine is taking a breath before launch. Drivers who've sat behind that center seat say it's transformative. You see everything. The road, the mirrors, the horizon. Symmetrical and balanced. It feels like piloting a starship down I-80. From experiment to assembly line. At first, Tesla could only build a handful of units in a corner of the Nevada Gigafactory. Each truck was practically handmade, an engineering experiment on wheels. But behind those closed factory doors, something extraordinary was happening. Tesla engineers were rewriting how heavy vehicles are manufactured. They integrated the battery pack directly into the chassis creating one solid energy spine instead of separate modules. Robotic arms began performing tasks once handled by human teams, aligning megacast components, installing drive units, and sealing thermal systems with millimeter precision. Now, the goal is clear, 50,000 semis per year, produced on a line so efficient that one fully built truck could roll out every 10 to 15 minutes. For context, that's faster than most companies assemble sedans. But Elon Musk isn't satisfied. His long-term vision? A truck every five minutes. It sounds insane, until you remember that Tesla already builds one Model Y every 33 seconds. The power core. At the heart of this giant is Tesla's 4680 high-voltage cell, the same cylindrical powerhouse transforming the Model Y and Cybertruck. Each cell packs up to 300 WH slash kg and thousands of them form a structural pack that doubles as the semi's frame. That architecture delivers two miracles at once, immense energy storage and extreme rigidity. It lets the semi pull a fully loaded 80,000-pound trailer up a 5% grade at 65 miles per hour, while a diesel rig struggles to maintain 45. And because the battery pack is part of the frame itself, there's no wasted material, no excess weight. Tesla has managed to shrink the pack slightly while actually extending range through improved aerodynamics and smarter cooling. The latest data suggests the 500-mile version could quietly stretch toward 540 miles on a single charge under optimal conditions. That's not a concept number. That's real-world freight range. Air that pays for itself. Aerodynamics is where most people underestimate Tesla. Traditional Class 8 trucks are about as aerodynamic as a brick wall. Every mile at highway speed costs energy. Tesla's team approached the problem like aircraft designers. By eliminating external mirrors, reshaping the nose, and sealing gaps between cab and trailer, they achieved a drag coefficient of 0.36, unheard of for something this massive. To put that in perspective, 
a Bugatti Chiron sits at 0.35. That single number translates directly into money. Every 1% drag reduction saves thousands of dollars per truck each year in energy costs. Multiply that by fleets of thousands, and you start to see why logistics companies are quietly signing contracts behind the scenes. The Human Upgrade while most headlines focus on range and torque, Tesla engineers obsessed over something less glamorous but far more important, the driver's day. Truck driving is grueling. Fatigue and heat drain attention. Traditional cabins are noisy, cramped, and vibrate constantly. The semi fixes all of that. Its seat suspension system cancels 90% of road shock. Cab noise is lower than a luxury SUV. Dual heat pump climate control keeps the temperature steady across continents. And that center-mounted seat? It's not just cool-looking. It reduces neck strain and side visibility issues that plague conventional rigs. Then there's the drop glass window, a small but genius addition. In early prototypes, drivers had to open the entire door to talk to guards or pass paperwork. Now, a simple sliding window section solves that. It's a tiny convenience that saves minutes every day, and minutes matter in freight. The camera revolution. Those sleek camera pods replacing traditional mirrors aren't just for show. Each side houses three HD cameras feeding real-time visuals to the twin in-cabin screens. You see blind spots, rear trailer edges, merging lanes, all in high dynamic range, even at night or in heavy rain. Fewer mirrors also mean less drag, less noise, and fewer parts to break. When regulators finally approve fully digital mirrors in North America, Tesla's system will already be production ready. Supercharged for trucks. Powering something this big takes serious juice. That's why Tesla created megachargers, giant 1 megawatt charging stations capable of adding up to 400 miles of range in 30 minutes. At first, only PepsiCo's and Tesla's own depots had them. But as part of the broader master plan, the next phase of the supercharger network will include dedicated megacharger hubs at strategic freight corridors. Los Angeles, Reno, Dallas, and Chicago first, then expanding globally. Each charger is solar-backed, battery-buffered, and grid-friendly, built to handle simultaneous loads without blackouts. Imagine a future where semis rest under sleek solar canopies while batteries refill silently from the sun. That's not science fiction. That's Tesla's construction schedule for 2026. Factory of the future. Behind all this is a manufacturing story few talk about. The semi's assembly zone at Gigafactory Nevada is unlike any truck plant on earth. The floor layout follows a straight through pattern, raw materials on one end, finished trucks rolling out the other, no backtracking, no downtime. Robots, lasers, and automated guided vehicles handle 80% of the process. Even painting is simplified, panels arrive pre-colored, reducing waste and energy. If you stand at the end of the line, you can literally watch the future roll past you, one silent giant at a time. Before we go any further, clap aboard your watching future drive hub. If you're loving this deep dive into Tesla's freight revolution, make sure to hit subscribe right now. We've got more game-changing updates coming that you won't want to miss. The numbers behind the hype. A single Tesla Semi costs around $250,000 upfront, but what matters isn't sticker price, it's total cost per mile. Diesel averages about $1.51 per mile when you factor in fuel, maintenance, and emissions compliance. The Semi? $0.97 cents per mile, and dropping as energy prices stabilize and battery life improves. That gap translates into tens of thousands in annual savings per vehicle, which is why even conservative logistics managers are quietly building pilot fleets. PepsiCo's early data shows maintenance costs down 70%, energy costs cut in half, and uptime above 99%. And remember, these are the first-generation trucks, the ones still being tested. Imagine what happens when Gen 2 and Gen 3 roll out with the new drivetrain and lighter frame. When the first Tesla semis rolled out of Nevada in late 2022, the world held its breath. Would they actually deliver? Could a silent electric truck keep up with roaring diesel haulers crossing the Rockies in winter? The answer arrived in a thunderstorm over Donner Pass. 
a fully loaded PepsiCo semi, 81,000 pounds of chips and soda, climbed the steep mountain grade, crested the summit, and descended 500 miles later with more than 10% charge left. No overheating. No breakdowns. No fuel. Just torque, traction, and control that left veteran drivers shaking their heads. For the trucking industry, that was the moment. Not a press event. Not an Elon tweet. A silent run that proved electric freight was no longer theory. It was reality. The numbers that matter. PepsiCo's real-world data stunned analysts. Fuel savings, $200,000 per truck over five years. Maintenance, down 70%. Energy cost, roughly half that of diesel per mile. Acceleration, 0 to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds fully loaded. That last number may sound irrelevant, until you realize a diesel rig takes nearly a minute to hit highway speed on-ramp. Those seconds translate into traffic flow, safety, and scheduling precision for fleets that live by the clock. PepsiCo's logistics had even admitted. Our biggest surprise wasn't the range, it was how relaxed our drivers felt at the end of a 10-hour shift. No vibration. No fumes. No constant gear hunting. Just a quiet hum and smooth regenerative braking that feels almost like flight. Energy efficiency without compromise. Here's what makes the semi different from any EV before it. Most trucks waste nearly 60% of their engine energy as heat. The Tesla semi converts over 92% of battery energy directly into motion. That's more efficient than most passenger EVs. Even more impressive, when descending hills, the semi's regenerative system captures up to 60% of the potential energy back into the pack, enough to recharge several miles during a single mountain descent. Think about that. A truck that recharges itself while braking. It's not just eco-friendly, it's physics turned into profit. The sleeper cab version. Now, let's talk about the next evolution already under development, the Tesla Semi Sleeper. Designed for long-haul routes exceeding 1,000 miles, this variant extends the cab backward into a compact but luxurious rest module. Early leaks show a fold-flat bed, smart lighting sync to circadian rhythm, a mini-fridge, and acoustic isolation rivaling first-class airplane pods. For drivers who spend days on the road, that means rest without hotels, and zero idling costs while parked. With solar-assisted HVAC and off-grid battery reserves, the sleeper can stay powered for up to 48 hours with no external connection. The result, a rolling micro-apartment powered by sunlight and silicon, the FSD revolution. But comfort is only part of the story. Tesla is already integrating full self-driving, FSD, software directly into the semi-platform. Unlike passenger vehicles, trucks operate on predictable corridors, making autonomy easier to scale safely. Here's how it will work. 1. Autopilot highway mode, handles lane keeping, adaptive speed, and automated overtaking on interstates. 2. Autonomous convo, multiple semis follow a lead unit digitally linked through V2V communication, reducing drag and operator fatigue. 3. Depot navigation. Low-speed FSD beta maneuvers the truck through charging stations and warehouse docks without human input. The vision, a driver supervises from the sleeper cabin while AI handles monotonous stretches, cutting fatigue, increasing range, and maximizing uptime. If Tesla achieves even partial autonomy for freight, the economic shockwave will rival the invention of the assembly line. The Eco Equation Each diesel truck emits around 223 tons of CO2 per year. Replace that with a Tesla semi powered by renewable energy, and you eliminate the equivalent emissions of 50 average cars per vehicle. Scale that to 50,000 semis a year, and we're talking about 11 million tons of carbon reduction annually. That's the same as shutting down an entire mid sized coal plant. And beyond emissions, there's noise. A Tesla semi glides through neighborhoods at night almost silently allowing 24-hour delivery without disturbing anyone. Cities like Amsterdam and Singapore are already drafting regulations to favor electric freight for urban zones, and Tesla wants to own that space. The Supply Chain Turnaround 
Critics once claimed electric trucks would collapse global supply chains because of long charging times. But Tesla's megacharger network flips that argument. Here's the reality. Megachargers deliver up to 1 megawatt, enough to add 400 miles in half an hour. For context, most drivers stop for 30 to 40 minutes anyway to inspect cargo or rest. The downtime equals charging time. Now imagine fleets using Tesla's trip scheduler AI. It predicts battery levels, traffic, and charger availability to plan routes dynamically. Drivers arrive, plug in, grab lunch, and roll out fully charged. No wasted minutes. It's logistics turned into orchestration. The money math. Every logistics company knows the golden metric, cost per mile. Right now, the Tesla Semi averages about $0.97 cents per mile versus $1.51 for diesel. That's a 36% reduction, massive when fleets log millions of miles annually. At government incentives, zero emission zones, and rapidly falling battery costs, and the break-even point shrinks from five years to under three. By 2028, analysts expect Tesla's Semi to have lower lifetime costs than even diesel's used truck resale value. And when resale flips, the market follows. The bigger vision. Elon Musk calls it. The decarbonization flywheel. Here's what it means. Build semis. Use semis to transport batteries and cars to gigafactories. Power factories with solar and megapack storage. Use profits to build more semis and energy plants. Each part feeds the next. Every truck sold accelerates the renewable ecosystem. And because Tesla owns its energy supply chain, solar, storage, charging, it profits at every link. This isn't just a truck. It's a financial engine driving the sustainability economy. Global Expansion By 2026, Tesla plans to open new semi-production in Texas and Berlin, with India and Canada on the radar. Each gigafactory will include dedicated megacharger yards and maintenance centers. Meanwhile, pilot fleets in Europe and Australia are testing shorter wheelbase versions optimized for narrow roads and tighter turns. Governments are taking notice. The EU already proposes an 18-ton EV mandate by 2030. California's Advanced Clean Fleets Rule targets 2040 for 100% zero-emission trucks. By then, Tesla won't just be a participant, it'll be the standard. The road ahead. But the mission goes further. Tesla's next-generation powertrain research suggests solid-state cells with double energy density are already in prototype. Combine that with a 10% weight reduction from gigacast frames and new carbon fiber body panels, and you get a 1,000-mile truck by 2030. At wireless charging depots, solar trailers, and autonomous platoons running non-stop across North America, and the future of freight starts to look like a science fiction movie playing in real time. The human story? Amid all the numbers and tech, the heart of this story is the people who drive these machines. Truckers who once spent their lives in diesel noise now glide through the night to the soft hum of electric power. Communities near highways breathe cleaner air. Children grow up without the constant drone of idling engines. It's a quiet revolution, literally. One that doesn't just move cargo, but moves civilization forward. The Closing Vision In a few years, when you see a massive white truck sliding silently down the highway under the moonlight, you won't be looking at a vehicle. You'll be looking at the future of energy, automation, and mobility all merged into one motion. The Tesla Semi is not just another chapter in Elon Musk's portfolio. It's the culmination of everything Tesla has learned, electric power, autonomy, manufacturing, and sustainability, compressed into a machine designed to move the world itself. Clap aboard your watching Future Drive Hub. If you believe in a future where freight is clean, quiet, and unstoppable, hit that subscribe button now. Because this is only the beginning. From space to solar, from cars to trucks, we're living through a technological renaissance.